Raven to Nest. Raven to Nest. I've got two Republic fighters on my tail. I can't shake them. Requesting backup. This is Major Anri of Raven Squad, still under fire. Come on, I need help down here. Lost! Can anyone read me? I read you, Major. Loud and clear. Really appreciate your sense of timing, Commander. Wasn't too sure I'd get out of that one. What's going on? Where did those Republic fighters come from? See that dreadnought? Meet me there. We'll get you all caught up. Get these weapons secure. Now! Everyone's trapped down there. Cord had better have a hell of a plan to get out of this one. I served with Cord on Corellia. If there's one thing I can say about the man, it's do not underestimate him. We need everyone ready to move. No exceptions. Darth Norok's down there. He'll handle the Republic. Hope you're right. I mean, he does oversee logistics. Of course I'm right. Don't let Norok's title fool you. I heard he's never lost a lightsaber duel. We've got three squads cleared and ready. Just need the go-ahead from Major Anri. I need the rest of them ready to go in ten, Captain. Understood? Right away, Major. Welcome aboard the Executioner, Commander. Wish I could have organized a welcome party, but we need your help straight away. I thought I was here to support the Empire's Colto operation. What are Republic forces doing on Manan? Being a pain in all our backsides. Colonel Cord was running a pretty tight ship with this Colto operation. We dropped mining platforms right on the water. Real state-of-the-art stuff. Got everything up and running quick. Harvesting, refining, shipping. We were up to our necks in Colto. The Sailcath didn't even know what hit him. <sighs> Until the Republic got a whiff of what was going on. Who is this Colonel Cord you spoke of? My new commanding officer. Raven Squad was transferred to Cord's regiment not long before he kicked things off on Manan. Once the Republic brought the big guns, the locals started to put up a fight. Some of the Selkath even got organized enough to take over our Colto refining station. That station was our base of operations, and now our people are stuck inside, including Colonel Cord. All our platforms are cut off from each other, whole thing's a mess. If we want this operation back on track, first thing to do is kick the Sailcath off our base, which I can't do alone. Could really use your help down there. Whatever you desire, I am at your service. You really are too good to be true, aren't you? I've already given the order to ready as many troops on board as we can. Just need to get them down to the surface and... Major Henry. The first dropship we sent down, it was completely destroyed as soon as it entered Manan's airspace. Our scanners show it was Republic anti-aircraft weapons. Are the enormous guns mounted on this eyesore just for show? If you've got their weapons in your sights, take them out. We can't. Once we started the targeting sequence, their weapons disappeared from our instruments altogether. How can that be? 
damn it! Don't know what the Republic's playing at, but I'm not sending any more soldiers down until we find out. As long as those Republic dogs are helping the Selkath, our efforts on Manan are dead in the water, so to speak. That's not an option. And there are other ways to solve this problem. All right. What are you thinking? You and I will retake your base. The Republic's weapons won't lock onto a small shuttle. You were able to escape Manan relatively unscathed. Solid point. And once we take the Republic's fancy weapons out of the equation, we'll clear the way for reinforcements. You heard the plan, Vondrel? Hold down the fort up here. We'll signal when it's safe to deploy everyone else. It's great to have your help again. Now, let's show these kelp lovers what we're made of, yeah? What happened here? How did the Empire lose control? Like I said, everything was going to plan. Better than that, really. We were unstoppable. We had an iron cannon that could stop entire fleets in their tracks. Anyone who thought they could take a run at us got a personal demonstration. But the Republic had to go and stick their noses where they don't belong. Things took a turn when they helped the Selkath blow up our cannon. Close one there. She's alive. Let's go, soldier. I'll be fine. Just need a second to catch my breath. But you two don't have time to stop. The Selkath are planting explosives all around the base. We'll take care of them. And there are more wounded troops. Please help them.
Losing a single weapon caused all of this. Hey, it was a really powerful gun. When it blew up, the iron explosion knocked out everything. Comms, weapons, vehicles, you name it, it went dark. These bottom feeders took advantage of the chaos and went on the offensive. Since we couldn't call for backup, Colonel Cord sent me back to the executioner for reinforcements. Then you showed up, just in the nick of time. Close one there. Ambiguous Tim Oven. Thank you. I thought I was done for.
Mars Ori and Ember Akiminta. Give these anchovies one for me, would ya? Azem Tun, open lato sag le vego. Sotet vod grav esan felet. I will never give up our position on Manan, no matter how many chances you give us. The Empire needs more Koto than your tight-fisted government is willing to sell. Vasoni lesson. Teto zot. Apaza la ko zotrit. Omalios. Hey, Sharkbait! Over here! If a fight is what you prefer, I will happily oblige. Just a sec. On your feet! I want this place back in working order immediately. Taurus, get this display back online. Dar, re-establish long-range communications now! We've been cut off from the other platforms for too long. Colonel Cord, sir. This is... I know who this is, Major. Where are the reinforcements I asked for? I don't really think you know who you're speaking to, Cord. Otherwise, you would show me the respect I am owed. I know you're expecting a few more people, but that plan hit a bit of a snag. A few more people? I asked you for an army, Major. And if I bring you that army now, they're as good as dead. The Republic shot down our first transport. They've got some kind of stealth weapon system. It went dark on the Executioner scanners almost as soon as it showed up. Then we need to eliminate those guns. I want my soldiers down on the surface in one piece. The second our scanning instruments are functional again, we shall locate the Republic's weapons. Readings down here will be more accurate than on the Executioner. The Selkath did a real number on this place. With their home advantage and the Republic backing them up, they'll retake this position in no time. You're absolutely right. We'll reinforce this platform while Cord finds the Republic's guns. What sort of defenses are at our disposal? There are plenty around this platform, but they were destroyed or disabled by the ion blast the Selkath triggered. You'll have to repair all the defenses manually. Sounds easy enough, especially for the two of us. I'm sure Darth Norok will be pleased at how well we're handling this, sir. Who's Darth Norok? He's the new head of logistics on the Dark Council. Colonel Cord manages the Colto operation, but this whole thing is under Darth Norok's jurisdiction. He gets final say on everything. Be nice if we could update him before we set off, sir. I tried to contact him, but with everything that's happened, I'm sure he's on the move. Don't get your hopes up. Good. Your endless missteps are becoming a considerable source. Of irritation. I know things are grim, my lord. 
You have my apologies, but I and my associates are prepared to make things right. See that you do. Darth Norok has been briefed, and we all have our assignments. I want this entire operation back in working order. People will die without this Kolto. I understand the situation's urgency, but there was no reason I couldn't have spoken for myself. Sir, the Selkath are launching another attack. They've breached the lower levels. If those Selkath take this platform again, I'm afraid no one will be speaking to Darth Norok. Leave the Selkath to us. We'll return once the defenses are repaired. Very well. Good luck to you both. Hopefully you won't need it. Incoming! Selkath are dug in deep. Let's remind them who they're dealing with. Just rewired the shields in this quadrant to triple their integrity. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. Aye, aye. I've got the power cells to the surface level defenses recharged, rebooted, and reinforced. Let's see the Selkath try and break these again. Selkath are everywhere. It's like a bad crack beetle infestation. See that terminal? We get it back online, we restore communications, at least at short range. We'll be able to check in with each other if we get separated. Good news, sir. We reactivated the defense systems. Making our way back to your position now. Excellent work, but unfortunately the job isn't over yet. What are you talking about? 
As Major Anne-Marie so eloquently reminded me, the Selkath have their home advantage of infiltrating underwater targets without impediment. As long as the Selkath can so easily enter the platform sublevels, our surface defenses won't be enough to repel them, as demonstrated by this second assault. The order just came down from Darth Norok. You're to deploy underwater defenses before you return. We have an assortment of mines that should do the trick. This was Darth Norok's idea. Wasn't he the one who said the mines were a waste of time in the first place? I sincerely hope that you're not questioning the word of a Sith Major. I know you are smarter than that. Well, if Darth Norok wants mines, then I guess we better get him some. That was... Are you alright? Oh, yeah. Don't worry about me. I just forget sometimes how much Cord buys into the whole Sith shall always reign supreme idea. Come on. There's a submersible droid in our mining facility that should make this easier for us. Just need to get to it. Still can't believe Colonel Cord got Norik to cave on these mines. Guess Norik finally realized how many people would die without them. He always struck me as an ends justifies the means kind of Sith. But maybe there's an old softy hiding under that creepy armor. Before I forget, you need an apology for the Colonel's less than heartfelt introduction. He means well, but the man is stubborn and never learned how to ask for help. Throw his aggravating need to have Darth Norik's approval for every little thing into the mix and well, here we are. I do admire how dedicated Colonel Cord is to his soldiers. Maybe if we all weren't in mortal danger, he'd loosen up a bit. Take those controls. They'll let you pilot a submersible droid that can drop the mines. That should do it. Let's head back and find out if Colonel Cord's made any headway on those scanners. This is a good start. Keep at it, Lieutenant. Lieutenant Dar has patched up our long-range communications. The hollow calls aren't what I would call reliable yet, but we were able to briefly reach the executioner. Unfortunately, we haven't made much headway in repairing our scanning equipment. We may have to rely on the executioner if we're going to locate the Republic's weapons. How did things go on your end? Major Anri and I cleared out the second wave of Selkath. With those mines activated, they won't get close to this platform again. That brings us one step closer to resuming Kolto shipments to those who need them. Darth Norok made a brief appearance on the way to his next objective. I updated him on our progress and your success with the platform's defenses. He was quite pleased. Can't you call him back? Sooner or later we'll need to hammer out a plan with Darth Norok for after the Republic's gone. Darth Norok's priority is getting the Kolto mining operation in working order again. He won't be pleased if I interrupt his work. After everything we've done, the least you could do is get Darth Norok on a hollow call. I'm fine. I can do that much. It's the Executioner, sir. They managed to make contact again. Put them through. They could have an update on the location of the Republic's guns. Colonel, thank the stars we reached you. 
We just received a distress signal from our shipping docks on the surface. It's faint, but we heard enough. The Republic has overrun their position. The entire platform is in lockdown, and if we don't... Blast! There's enough Koltos sitting on those docks to turn the tide for the Empire. We can't let the Republic get their hands on it. I need you both to stop them. Darth Norok? It must be done. We must take control. We will, my lord. We won't let any pubs off that platform with our Colto. Should I try to get him back? I expect to meet Darth Norok when I return. I want to ensure our interests here are aligned. Understood. And when you do, expect to be generously rewarded for fulfilling his commands. So much for sneaking in. Vondra wasn't kidding when she said the pubs had these transports locked down. They're grounded until we cut them loose.
close one there. That's all of them. Time to get these things in the air. If we can just find somewhere to put coordinates in. Those Colto transports don't have pilots. Use this to send them somewhere. They'll get to the destination on their own. Getting this Colto out of Cord and Norox's hands is the only way I trust it will be put to good use. My people will handle it from here. As long as you get it to the Empire, Colonel Cord won't have any complaints. Can't imagine Darth Norok would be too happy about it, though. Are 
Are you seeing this? Contact cord. We need an extraction. Way ahead of you. Here's hoping I can get through. Sir, so got a little surprise down here at the shipping docks. The Republic's guns showed up. What about the Koto? Where is it? Gone. Those guns destroyed most of the transports, but most are on their way off-world. Which is great for you and all, sir. Unfortunately for us, the Republic's just dropped a lot of fresh troops on our doorstep. We're trapped in here. I cannot send anyone to get you out, Major. Not while those guns are still active. Darth Norak would not approve of me sending anyone else into this situation. You don't need me. I know the both of you will figure. Think we can make it to that? We'll handle it. And we'll bring down the Republic's guns on the way out. Darth Norok? What in blazes are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Is that...? You've got to be kidding me. Don't just stand there. Release me! At once! Tread carefully. Or I'll hand you back to the Republic if I don't throw you out of the shuttle first. Do not toy with me, fool. The longer you keep me like this, the worse the consequences will be. No need for that, my lord. Don't do anything stupid, Norok. Unless you'd like to put the buoyancy of your armor to the test. Take me to Cord. I will wring the air from that useless invertebrate's carcass for this. What does he have to do with this? If he had done what I asked in the first place, there would be no need for my presence. What do you mean? Colonel Cord's done his best to keep this operation running for you. I repeatedly told Cord his little Colto mining stations weren't good enough. The Empire does not toil and struggle for a mere trickling of resources. We take what we want. 
Cord had one objective. The complete subjugation of Manon. He refused to comply with my instructions. So I relieved him of his command. The Republic arrived at Manon as I began my descent to the surface. I had no time to act. In one swift moment, their forces destroyed our weapons, shot me down, and set upon me. How can you call yourself Sith when you so easily allowed the enemy to capture you? You chose to leave our ranks. How dare you question the validity of my position? Hate to break up this very productive discussion, but I can't land this thing without drawing attention. Too many pubs out there. But it's now or never. We won't get a better shot at taking out these guns. If these animals are all that stand between me and an unyielding grip on Manan, I will eradicate every last one. Here we go. They didn't like that. Something for ya! We've got to turn off these power conduits. With all the juice they're putting out, we need them offline before we can shut down these blasted guns. lied to my face. Made me look like an idiot. Speak up, Major. Do you have something to say? Perhaps about your commanding officer? Nope. Everything's just peachy. Forget I said anything, my lord. Apologies for wasting your time. I think we cut enough power to take out the guns for good. Just need to find the controls that shut them off. Not a cell calf in sight. They must be putting a lot of trust in the Republic if they're letting this beast cruise around Manan without any local military on board. Don't be absurd. There is no trust between Manan and the Republic. The cell calf want the Republic gone as much as we do. As much as they want the Empire gone. 
I thought the Selkath helped the Republic destroy your Ion Cannon. A brief association, in opposition of a common enemy. How do you know that? The so-called soldiers tasked with guarding me had many complaints about Manan's natives. The Selkath's displeasure at the Republic's presence was especially confusing for them. The Republic are aggressors here. Self-righteous and unwanted invaders, though they pretend otherwise. And I will find a way to use their sanctimonious convictions against them. All those power conduits refried lead to manual controls on the bridge. Can you use the controls to deal with the guns? Does a hut have a tail? Then we have our target. Let's go. They're here. Oh no. How did he escape? Weapons ready. Don't let them touch anything in this room. Whatever you're planning, it stops here. They must have known we'd make it up here. A Republic friends locked this system down tighter than Bantherhide. Can you get in? Oh yeah, no problem. And we destabilize enough of this thing's power conduits that I can rig the guns to explode from here. With plenty of time for us to escape, of course. Say goodbye to the Republic's shiny new toy. Stop. What's wrong? Why destroy these weapons when we can take them for ourselves? Use them against the Republic, should they try to stop us again. Increase the output of these weapons as high as you can, Major. Make them so powerful that we regain our unquestionable dominance over this world. Not an option, my lord. We shut down too many of the power sources. There won't be enough juice left to supercharge the guns and keep their targeting matrix online. I do what you're asking. These guns will fire on anything that moves. Selkath, Republic. Imperials. Good. That means no one else will be able to shut them down. When Selkath ships are obliterated by Republic weapons, their rift will deepen. The Selkath can't fight on two fronts, and when the dust is cleared, Manan will belong to me. You there? Do you read? What's the status of those guns? We're at the controls now, Colonel, but you... Come in! Blast! I thought we'd worked out these comms issues. Colonel? Listen, if you can hear me at all, it is imperative that we destroy these guns once and for all. Our people need Kolto, and what we're doing here is the best way to get it to them. But we can't continue if the Republic is breathing down our necks like this. Darth Nord's orders are clear. Destroy the guns. Everything all right? Focus, Major. Do as I command, and you shall be granted a reward befitting a conqueror of worlds. I'm sorry, my lord, but this one gives the orders. I came here to help the people of the Empire, not expedite their destruction. Gut these weapons. With pleasure. Countdown initiated. I gave us enough time to get back to the shuttle, but we still better move it before these things come apart on top of us. You will not leave until you do as I say. Increase the damage of these weapons now, Major. Or you will both learn what happens when you defy a Sith. Your impulsive decisions got you captured by the Republic, and now you expect me to aimlessly kill Imperials. You are a stain, an aberration, a degradation of the Sith. How dare you make demands of me? That was the wrong answer. Incoming!
You should have obeyed my commands. Now, you will suffer. I am slaughter. I am destruction. I am Sith. This world is mine! I am slaughter. I am destruction. I am Sith! I am slaughter. I am destruction. I am Sith! I will eradicate all who oppose me! I will eradicate all who oppose me! Uh, a close one there. Well, that sure cut into our escape time. Then let's not waste any more time. I've raised my brow that a lot of things you've done, but never in my wildest dreams did I think you were capable of something so blasted stupid. Mind yourself, Major. I won't permit this insubordination while there's still so much work left to do. Mind myself? Stars, you're brainless. We found Darth Norrick, Colonel, and he wasn't too happy to hear about what you've been up to. You had the brass to speak for a member of the Dark Council without his permission, but that wasn't reckless enough for you. Not telling anyone that Norik was missing. Forging his orders. And the best part's gotta be how you dragged us into your stupidity. I know Norik was a pain, sir. And I know he was keeping you from supporting the Empire the way you thought was right. I might have understood if you had just told me about all of this from the start. But you lied to me. And that... That I don't understand. Terrible things happen to those who try to deceive me. You're lucky I don't kill you where you stand. Are you sure that impersonating a Sith is such a terrible thing? Because right now, you sound just like Norak. Where is Darth Norak? He attacked us when we destroyed the Republic's guns. We had to kill him. Then how can you blame me for what I've done? You saw for yourself what Norak does to anyone who opposes his greed. And you stuck by what you thought was right. Just as I did. Other than making a complete fool of yourself, what exactly did you do? Whatever mess you found Norok in was the result of his own arrogance. When I lost contact with him, I simply took advantage of his absence. My entire career, I've done nothing but prove my admiration for the Sith. I served without question, believe they had a right to rule the Empire. Until I had a chance to lead this operation, I cherished the idea that I was helping soldiers live to see another day. Norok, however, kept saying I needed to think bigger. He wanted all of Manan under his rule. But we didn't have the resources to sustain a prolonged occupation of the entire planet. It would have achieved nothing. Nothing more than a boost to Norok's ego. I refused to sacrifice faithful citizens of the Empire for something so irresponsible. And I do not regret that decision. Or the decision to use Norok's name, if it means not one life will be wasted on a Sith ambition. I see you finally solved your communications problem, Colonel. Now that the lines are open again, I need an update on your progress. 
Strictly going by who I see in the room, I'm assuming everything is going well. That's correct. Colonel Court, Major Anri, and I have worked tirelessly to bring the Colto mining network back to full efficiency. I think you'll be quite pleased with the results. That's correct. And as a matter of fact, we just got a large Colto shipment off-world and dealt a crippling blow to the Republic's weapons. Excellent. That is just what I was hoping to hear. I'll leave you to continue your work, Cord, but I expect another update soon. Crevice out. I... I'm... I'm sorry. What exactly is happening? I'm not complaining, mind you, but why didn't you say anything to Darth Krovos? Don't think I did this to protect you, Cord. I expect to be paid back. Right. I'm certain we can work something out. You should be grateful. Things could have gone a lot worse for you. Well, then, thank you. Not for what you've done for me, but for what you've done for the Empire. Many will owe their lives to you. You've given us a secure foothold on Manon, which means a more certain path to victory. But there is still much to do. Speaking of which, we better get back to it. Unless you don't plan to stay, Major. Of course I'm sticking around. At least until I find someone else to give you a kick in the pants when you get another one of these half-baked ideas. Colonel Cords explained the situation to everyone who hadn't heard yet, even apologized. Didn't see one tear shed over losing Darth Norok. Thought that was interesting. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. Not too many of us were looking forward to taking over all of Manan. Now we can focus on what we came for. An occupation would have been overkill on both sides. This Colto mining operation is more than enough to help the Empire. Do you have any idea how good it feels to hear that from someone as important as you? I've seen you in action so many times, and you still never cease to amaze. Not to mention all the times you've come through for me. You're probably tired of everyone constantly falling over themselves for you. I'm sure you don't need to hear me go on about how amazing I think you are. But I can count the number of people I trust on one hand. Every time we meet, you more than earn your place on that list. Hope you know how much I appreciate that. You've always been a valuable asset, Anri, and I'm grateful for all your help. Now you're just trying to make me blush. Anyway, I know you have a lot to get back to and I don't want to keep you from it. Thanks for sticking around and seeing this through. I knew you had a lot on your plate, but this is something else. I'll leave you to it. Hey, Commander. I hear the situation on Manan's getting pretty hairy. Lots of chatter about one of our weapon systems going dark. Is everything okay down there? Everything's under control, Jonas. Hey, I know you've got this. But I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't offer help when you need it. Or check in on you now and again. So, anything else interesting happen during your visit to Manan? I've secured a major shipment of Colto for the Republic. It's waiting for pickup on Odessan. Well now, all things considered, that is some pretty good news. I can't thank you enough for this, Commander. Seriously. Master Saldaron is chasing down some leads on Darth Malgus right now. But when she's back, I'm sure we'll have another update for you. Good. I always look forward to our little chats, Jonas. Likewise. Until next time, Commander. <laughs>